Hi everyone, so this week we wanted to talk about some of our big Disney don'ts. Stuff that you should definitely not do when you're at Disney. Nope, nope, nope. There's a few things that really grind my gears that people do. So don't do them. And this is going to be the list of those. Now, we know that most of the people watching this are definitely going to be not the kind of people that we're talking about at all. I don't expect that pretty much anyone watching this, to be honest, is going to be exhibiting any of these behaviours. And these are all things that we definitely feel really passionate about, and we know that it's not everyone, but just, you know. In case this is you, just know that it's annoying. <laughs> because if we stop one person from doing this, we've helped <laughs> 40 to 50 people. So this is definitely going to be a little bit of a ranty video, but hopefully you don't mind too much. I love ranty videos, because it just makes me so riled up and... Fired up. Ah! Ah. Okay, first up we have... Do not ignore cast members, signs, or basically anything that Disney tell you to do. This really stresses me out. It's like, you know when people go in to watch like PhilharMagic and they're like, move to the end of the row and you always, always get that family. They're like, nah, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm just going to sit right in the middle and people are either going to not be able to go around me or they're only going to be able to fill the theatre half full because people can't get past you and they only put half the people in there. And we can see you, we know you heard the cast member, we know you heard them say what they need to say. They've gestured, they've gone, you, you, specifically you, move down the row, and you've gone, no. If I don't look at them, it doesn't count. They can't make me move. They can make you move. You should listen to them and you should do what you, they say. It's for everyone else's benefit. And yours, because we won't all hate you. That's true. Also, when you're watching the fireworks and someone's like, this is a footpath, keep walking. And you're like, nah. I'm just going to pretend I didn't hear that and I will be able to stand here. And I think it's a real shame sometimes that Disney, often the cast members don't seem to have enough power to go, look, seriously, you have to move. And it's all treated a bit nicely. I think sometimes maybe they need someone to come along and be like, oi, move, get out the way. This is a footpath in uh, a bit more of an aggressive way to get them to actually move. What I like to do as a cast member is just get in people's way, so regardless of what they're doing, I was then the inconvenience. Oh, you're watching a parade? Oh, I'll just stand in front of you then. Oh, you need to move, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, you're trying to take a picture? Oh, do you want my face to be in it? Okay, cool, move. So you just kind of passively, aggressively make people move. I enjoyed doing that, I miss that. <laughs> Similarly with signs, the advice that they give you is there for a reason. Don't put your hands in the water. Oh my god, that stresses me out so much when... Pirates of the Caribbean in particular. If you want the end of your fingers, keep them in the boat. <laughs> They're not trying to ruin your fun. There's a genuine reason behind pretty much all of the things that they tell you. Quite important reasons in most cases. So definitely listen to it and stop ignoring them, please. And this leads on to my next point. Don't take advantage of Disney hospitality just because it's there. Don't lie to get free stuff. Don't complain so much because you want something and don't just feel like just because Disney offer it, it's for you. We've seen this before. We were in Hollywood studios. A woman walked up, picked up some ice creams, went to pay with her magic band and the guy was like, no, sorry, that hasn't gone through. She was like, well, I don't care. And she just relied on the fact that Disney aren't going to make a big scene. She relied on that cast member not really knowing how to handle that and went, it's Disney. Of course they're going to be nice. They're not going to come after me for this and just took the ice creams and walked away. She just straight up robbed that ice cream cart. That's ridiculous. Don't do that. Don't think that it's okay to do things like that because it isn't. No, and I mean, this obviously stems from a lot of things. There was a massive thing a few years ago where people were taking advantage of their disability system and it doesn't just affect you, it affects everyone. So don't be annoying because if you ruin it for some people, you ruin it for everyone. If you take advantage and abuse the system, then the people that actually need these things or when a cast member is being really nice and giving someone a free ice cream, they can't do that now because you've been a terrible person about it and ruined it for everyone. So you have ruined a poor child's holiday. They're going to go home crying and it's all your fault. So don't do it. This is stuff I actually still see on the forums occasionally. And it will be people saying things like, yeah, if you just get sort of halfway through an ice cream and drop it, they'll give you a new one. Just do that a couple of times. It's like, no, that that's not okay. Don't be doing this. Uh, I did quite often give people ice creams if they did that. But if I they were rude or I didn't like them, I would just go, that's a shame. <laughs> like I would just clean it up and then not make a point of doing anything because just because you can get it doesn't mean you always will. Now the next one we've got on our list is 
don't act entitled specifically towards other guests. Mm -hmm. You've all paid to be there. Some of them will have paid more than you. Some of them might have paid less than you, but that really, really doesn't matter. We've seen examples of people saying, yeah, well, this is my holiday and, you know, I can do whatever I like, even though it's impacting 30 people behind you. That's not really how it works. They've all come on holiday to Disney as well. You're not really that much more special than them at all. Don't be ruining other people's holidays and turning around and going, yeah, but I've paid to be here. So is everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone is paid to be there. You're not special <laughs> as much as you think you are. I like to always think I'm special, but in those situations, I'm one of everyone else. If you're trying to get on a bus and other people have got the bus first and you're annoyed you don't get on that one, tough. Everyone had to wait. You don't but my dinner special. reservation is in five minutes. Well, tough. You should have gone earlier. That doesn't give you the right to try and jump in front 20 other people who've been waiting there longer. It's not really how it works. And this is particularly annoys me with the buses. I always see on forums and things people going, oh, well, you know, they always load the wheelchairs on first. Yes, because there's only enough room for two wheelchairs on a bus. I've seen a family of four people in wheelchairs. They're all the same family and they've had to wait 20 minutes each to get two buses. Why? Is that a problem for some people? That's what really annoys me. Like, oh, there's the wheelchairs are getting on first. Well, yeah, because there's only two of them that can fit on the bus and you can fit 30 or 40 standing people. So why would you not? I just pff, blows my mind and it really stresses me out that people think that they're better than other people, especially at Disney World. Really, most of the things that we're saying can be rolled into pretty much one giant category of do not be inconsiderate towards other guests. Almost all of this behavior is a problem because it impacts on someone else in a negative way. And that's really not okay. When, as we said before, it's their holiday too. Like you do have to think of the crowd. Now we're not saying that you have to just be really passive. And if someone needs to go in front of you, you have to let them. Like that's not what we're saying at all, but just try and be aware of other people and don't do stuff that affects them if you can help it. The one thing that I actually really get annoyed with that people don't really think about much because it doesn't always affect them is swearing. Um, if you swear a lot or you're an adult and you're of a group of adults, that's fine. But like, don't forget that you are in Disney World where there are a lot of young children around. Like, if I've got little kids, I don't want to hear someone like effing and blinding in front of me in the queue. It's not really considerate of everyone else around you. Now we're not saying that you can't swear in Disney. If you're an adult, there are gonna be some times when you're in a conversation and yeah, you might swear a little. What we're talking about here is the kind of people who you see them in shops and they'll be like, oh, Beep. look at this. Like, you know, and they're shouting out and they're surrounded by kids that they aren't with. And you kind of just go like, oh, I bet their parents wish they hadn't heard that. There are, I know it's cut down and I know that I don't smoke, so I can't really relate to this massively. But people that smoke in the non-smoking areas and then try and hide it when a cast member catches them out or just smoking in a non-smoking area anyway really annoys me because like not everyone wants to breathe that in. And the thing that particularly annoys me is when they hold the cigarettes in their hand and then cup it like, oh, if you can't see it, you obviously can't smell it. Well, as a non-smoker, I can tell you, you definitely can smell it. And as an ex-cast member, it's very annoying when you say to someone, put your cigarette out or go to a smoking area. And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure. And then hide it again. Like, just go to a smoking area. They are one in every park. Like, I know they're annoying to get to, but... That's kind of the price you pay for wanting to smoke in Disney. It's not cool to smoke around kids, especially if they aren't yours. Don't do it. Listen to the cast members. Stuff the kids. Don't smoke around me. I don't <laughs> want that. I want my lungs to be filled with your smoke. And hell, it's even better for you. So that's a nice health warning for you there just cut down smoking another thing that really annoys me is people that just stop and this isn't just a disney one again this is it these are like my life issues that i have <laughs> people that just stop so like as i started driving now people do that in cars as well like i'm gonna turn here it just throws you off if you're walking or you know where you're going and someone in front of you or a family in front of you just stops dead like most of the time you bump into them or they just completely block the path and that is like so frustrating again just spatially aware just just take in your surroundings who's around you how far away just keep an eye on that disney world gets incredibly crowded you know don't stop and block paths with strollers don't suddenly stop in front of groups of people 
don't do all these things that just make it harder for everyone else to deal with you. Again, this is kind of all if you can help it. If you've got like a really good reason, fine, whatever. But if you don't and you're just stopping and blocking everything, just don't. There are plenty of places with benches and areas off to the side that you can just go to instead. I think one of my favorite examples of this, now stop now, uh, was selfie sticks. And when people used to hold them out and then like, oh, the place I want to take a picture of is over here. Full arms length and just swing it without looking. Did we see someone get hit by a selfie stick? Or did someone almost get hit by a selfie I stick? I think someone almost got hit on our last trip. They just full arm out and just swing it and just be like, don't even look if there's anyone beside them. And that's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> I did that as a cast member actually. I went to show someone directions with my brew. <laughs> <laughs> Smack someone. I did say sorry though. So those are our big Disney don'ts. We do have a couple of additional pet peeves that we both kind of want to talk slash rant about a little bit. And I'm going to go first. Mine is people who use the flash on dark rides. I've, I've mentioned this before in my photography tips video, but I'm mentioning it here as well. Don't do it. You're not gonna get a good photo. Your photo is going to look absolutely terrible. You do not need to use a flash. Oh, it's dark, I have to use the flash. No, because everything looks awful. It makes everything look fake, it ruins it for everyone else, and you won't even get a good photo at the end of it. I cannot stress this enough, it just looks awful. So it's one of my biggest Disney pet peeves, and I really hate it seeing it on things like Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion. I think those are probably two of the biggest offenders in my eyes. Just don't do it. Like, ah, uh, duh. I also love how oblivious those people are because they'll do it and everyone else will go, oh, and they just don't notice. They're like, what? Oh, they will take some more pictures. It's not cool. It's never cool. So my biggest biggest pet peeve to the point where I've almost resulted into violence of just smacking them out of people's hands is people that film fireworks or parades on their iPhone not so much that's annoying but iPads they hold up a full-on iPad in the air to take video of fireworks a I'm now watching it through your screen like at least at least turn the screen off because I mean, it's already going to be rubbish. How honest, honest to God, how many people actually sit back and enjoy watching all their firework videos on their holiday videos? We do. We like watching ours. I, d I wouldn't sit through the whole fireworks, which these people just will record the whole fireworks. But just in case the iPad isn't capturing it, the rest of their family will be filming it on their iPhones. It's just like, what are you doing? Like, you're ruining it for everyone. If you can see the fireworks at this level, or eye level, so can your iPad. So why you need to hold it above your head, above everyone else, is surely not gonna get you much of a better view. It's gonna ruin it for everyone else. It's always blown out. It just looks rubbish and I hate you. <laughs> I honestly, like, I think on our last trip, that was the one thing that really made me mad. Like I'm actually having a go at someone being like, it's an iPad, like it's not even a phone. You have a, a massive iPad that you're holding above your head and blocking it for everyone behind you. It just makes me so mad. That's like, I'm literally getting really flustered thinking about it. Cause it makes, does it make you mad or is it just me? It does. I find it annoying. And I know that some people say like, oh, I can, you know, it's the only thing I had to film it with. It's like, well, yeah, I get it. And you want the memories of the trip. And I mean, we filmed a lot of our holiday, but there's a right way to go about it. And there's a wrong way to go about it. Hold it here. You can get a pretty reasonable view. If you can't, at least turn the screen off, but please don't be that person, full brightness, over your head. It's just not good, and it's very inconsiderate of everyone that's behind you. And, I mean, it kind of goes back to what we were saying with don't act entitled and don't be inconsiderate. You're not entitled to ruin the view of 40 people behind you because it's your holiday. If you're blocking the view of everybody behind you when you could very easily not be, that's not cool, don't do that. And it, it's kind of stressful to watch and it is a bit like very frustrating. I know some people will probably be like, well, it's my holiday as well. Like I get those people on, but I'm gonna do it anyway. That's fine, karma will come around. <laughs> no, it's just- I hope someone does it to you at the next show. Yeah, it is annoying and it's just, it's one of those things. And I get that, but like for us it's, it's annoying, 
but we go to Disney reasonably regularly. If someone's doing one once in a lifetime trip and that's the only time they're gonna see Wishes and they have to watch it through your iPad, I would feel really bad. Like, I am I would consider myself quite a considerate person when we're on holiday. I'm very like aware of everyone else and helping people when I can. And it makes me mad hearing other people being mean or disrespecting other people. So just, just don't do it. Like, we're not saying you have to sacrifice your holiday or not do things you wanna do. Just really have a good think about the impact of what you're about to do. Have a little think to yourself and say, is this going to possibly ruin the holiday for someone else? If yes, you need to just have a really good think about whether that's worth it. I mean, if it's something that you come down to and you're like, yeah, it's going to be two seconds and it's I just really want to do this and it's really, really important to me. I can kind of see where you're coming from, but if it's really not that important at the end of the day try not to ruin other people's trips yeah i've got to say most of the points we've made wouldn't really impact your your trip really like not doing as cast members say is doing as cast members say um not pushing in the line not swearing like it it's not going to have a massive impact on you but it's going to have a massive impact on someone else so just think about that and these are the things that we think you really should not do like at disney at all Hopefully this hasn't been too controversial and hopefully you don't all hate us now. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.